AFC Ajax is one of the most successful clubs in Dutch football. Historically, Ajax is the most successful club in the Netherlands, with 33 Eredivisie titles and 18 KNVB Cups. Ajax is historically one of the most successful clubs in the world. According to the IFFHS, Ajax were the seventh most successful European club of the 20th century. The club is one of the five teams that has earned the right to keep the European Cup and to wear a multiple winner badge. They won consecutively in 1971 a circumflex 1973. In 1972, they completed the Continental Treble by winning the Eredivisie, KNVB Cup, and the European Cup. Ajax's last international trophies were the 1995 Intercontinental Cup and the 1995 Champions League, where they defeated Milan in the final. They lost the 1996 Champions League final on penalties to Juventus. Ajax is also one of three teams to win the Continental Treble and the Intercontinental Cup in the same season slash calendar year. This was achieved in the 1971A Circumflex 72 season. Ajax, Juventus, Bayern Munich and Chelsea are the four clubs to have won all three major Rui for club competitions. They have also won the Intercontinental Cup twice, the 1991A Circumflex 92 UEFA Cup, as well as the Karl Rapp Bank Cup, a predecessor of the UEFA Intertoto Cup, in 1962. Ajax plays at the Amsterdam Arena, which opened in 1996. They previously played at De Meer Stadion and the Amsterdam Olympic Stadium. The club was founded in Amsterdam on 18 March 1900 by Floris Temple, Carol Reeser and Handed, the second incarnation after a short-lived previous attempt as football club Ajax in 1894. The club was named after the mythological hero Ajax, a Greek who fought in the Trojan War against Troy. In the Iliad, Ajax was said to be the greatest of all the Greeks next to his cousin Achilles and even fought an inconclusive duel with Troy's champion, Hector. According to most accounts, Ajax died by committing suicide. Thus, unlike Achilles, he died unconquered. Ajax succeeded in promotion to the highest level of Dutch football in 1911 under the guidance of Jack Kerwin, their first official coach. The promotion meant that Ajax were forced to alter the club strip, as Sparta of Rotterdam had the same kit red-white vertical stripes with black shorts. Ajax adopted a broad vertical red stripe on a white background with white shorts, which remains the club's kit colours to this day. Although their efforts were not unnoticed, they were relegated in 1914. While they immediately bounced back, they had to wait until 1917 to regain higher level status again. They did become league champions in both 1915 and 1916, however the 1915 league was declared unofficial, whereas in 1916 they did not make it through the promotion round. Under the guidance of Jack Reynolds, the club was promoted to the highest level in 1917, and won the Dutch National Cup final, defeating VSV 5A Circumflex 0. Ajax went on to win their first national championship in 1918. The championship was secured in Tilburg, where they faced Willem II without gender natris, arguably the club's first star player, who missed the train to Tilburg, and opted to stay in Amsterdam instead, earning him a fine of 10 cents. In the following season, he received a six-month ban, though Ajax nonetheless performed well in his absence. Not only did they retain the championship title, their 1919 campaign was also an unbeaten run for them, an accomplishment that was only repeated 76 years later by Ajax themselves. Sorry, your browser either has JavaScript disabled, or does not have any supported player. Now regular contender for the Western Regional Championship in the Netherlands. Ajax marched through the 1920s with regional titles in 1921, 1927 and 1928, in addition to a few minor cup victories. The 1930s would prove to be more successful, however, with household names as Wim Anderias and Senior, Dolph Van Kool, 
Piet Stridgebisch, Wim Vokers, Jan van Dijpenbeek, Bob Ten Have, Erwin van Wichmgarden and Prolific Striker Piet van Rienen. Ajax period from the late 20s until World War II was so successful that many people dubbed it the Golden Age.